Okay guys, so this is how the car currently looks. Uh, I could fit about two fingers in there and two in the front. They're about the same, honestly. The car's basically stuck. Um, but yeah, my GoPro died, but we're gonna be recording on the iPhone. So I don't know if it recorded, but these are the coilovers I'm gonna be installing. V2s. There you go. Now let's get them installed. All right, guys. We adjusted the front ones only. The back ones were pretty much good to go. We'll see if this adjustment fixed our issue. I think it did, huh? Yeah, let's check the back ones real quick. The back ones, we have about a finger space. Sorry, my dirty hands. Yep, finger space. I just want a finger space. Oh, this is kind of still tight. I just want the front and back to be good. The same. Okay guys, we finally finished, 12 o'clock p.m. Took more than expected, like always. This is the fitment. It's literally perfect. Perfect all around. It looks awesome. All right, guys, as you've seen, I lowered the card. So this is, a, this is gonna be a continuation video of the coilover installment. That's how the card looks. Just got out of work. This is like a whole nother, like three days later. <laughs> but today I wanted to add into this video also um, the part that I got from SubiFlow. I got 10% off just because I signed up for the email thing or whatever. So um, this is for the third brake light, guys, as you guys seen. This is from Subaru, I believe, and it only lights up when you push on the brake and it's just like a halogen bulb or something. I don't even know, but it's not gonna be comparable to this thing. But yeah, guys, um, I'll see if I could show you guys how it works. Um, I don't honestly don't know how much these go for, but uh, I'll probably sell it for like 35 bucks plus shipping. If you guys want it, just let me know. And yeah, so anyways, I'm gonna take that piece off and put this one. What do you guys think? Should I um, raise the spoiler in the back? Like a little bit more tilted because I know it has the adjustment, but I still been debating. It looks good like this though. Just give you guys a little walk around one more time. It's pretty good. I can fit the full finger in between the fender and the wheel, so. And the exhaust. It's so clean under here, guys, it's insane. But I do need to wash this car, I haven't washed it like in two weeks, so. Um, I'm gonna put this installed, get this thing tidy up. And yeah, also another thing that I'm debating, guys, as you guys see that I have the side skirts, the STI ones, and this part, I don't know if it's OEM or not, but the guy installed it. And um, I think the RAs come with these stock. The lips from the SCI too, so I believe these new are like 500 bucks. Um, so I'm still debating if I want to either leave that one or install my carbon fiber one over here that I only drove with like, I want to say like 3K miles on it or two. It's basically new, but I'm still debating either put that one on or leave this one on. What do you guys think? Leave in the comments down below. Also, another reason I'm debating whether to do it or not is because they're basically almost as the same price. Um, the carbon fiber lip goes for 450. Right now, those carbon fiber lips, where I bought it from on Amazon, those are discontinued. So I'm not sure if I want to keep that one, because if I want to go with like Savon or something like that, um, those go for like 600. And I believe this one's like the CS style front lip. Also, guys, I don't know if you saw my Instagram. Um, this um, 
that blue cloth blanket type of thing is covering my extra trunk that the guy gave me when I bought the car. So if you guys want it, it's basically just like an STI's trunk. It doesn't have any spoiler or nothing, but it doesn't either have the um, the little lip that the WRXs have. So it basically looks like this trunk without the wing. It's basically in perfect condition, guys. Um, it, does it does come with the STI and Type RA badge from um, Subaru and the Subaru badge. So you don't have to buy any of those if you have a Type RA or just an STI. I'm selling that one at, one at $650 plus shipping. Um, like I said, it's basically new. The guy, I mean, the guy barely even drove this car. So um, let me know if you want that. And I also have the stock exhaust. So if you guys want to buy that off of me for a hundred bucks, um, you could take it. Or I'll probably even give it out for cheaper. So I just want to get rid of some stuff here. But yeah, I'm going to install this real quick. Um, I know that there's a lot of videos out there. So I'm not going to go fully in depth on how to install the product. But I'll show you guys um, the end result and some of the process. But that's going to be about it, guys. Okay, guys. So this is how the product looks right here. It's the F1 rear fog light. And it even came with the... Um, plug and harness plug and play thing so i was like yep i have to do it like this thing on subi speed i think it's like 25 bucks i think or 20 bucks it's insane i know we're here to give it out for free basically i think this thing was like 90 bucks before the discount so with the discount i don't even know how much i paid for it but it was like 70 something i think um i mean it saved me a couple bucks you know but uh, i just saw the price and i'm like yep i have to get it <laughs> And plus because it came with this thing another 20 bucks so um yeah this is the description right here and they come with um the install guide if you guys want to see that right there and over here they sent a couple other things right here some pop clips and stuff to connect the wires as well but yeah, hopefully this does not take me long like i said i just got out of work i'm gonna try to install this thing okay guys almost done i haven't installed it i just wanted to double check it works on everything so what you're gonna wanna do is take this piece off. It's three clips, boom. Um, and then you go over here, you take two clips, one right there, I believe one in here and then one over there. Take those off, boom. And then they should open up to like that. I'm sorry I'm meeting this can. So you go to your black to black, green to green, red to red. And I'm just gonna put electrical tape on each one. And I'm gonna also put electrical tape on this one. Just because this one doesn't have the reverse light and that's for the reverse one, so. Let me show you guys real quick. Should work. All right? No? Oh. There we go. So that's how it is, guys. And this one, since I said, and this one, like I said, does not have the reverse um, feature, but... When you do push the brakes, it does blink a couple times. Let's see. So it does blink a bit. I think that's pretty unique. Hey, it's honestly so worth it, especially with the uh, plug and play option that they offer for free. And um, you can't go wrong with this one. Subi Flow for sure. Lastly, um, the fog light does come with these clips right here, which are going to be used to hold the rear fog light. All right, guys, let me give you guys a little cold start.
titanium exhaust going and the coilovers installed it's only been like what a week and a half <laughs> it's looking good i like it i'm not trying to go like over overboard with all like the exterior mods i just want like a clean simple build guys um i mainly want power i really think that the car looks super good like every time i take this thing i get compliments and whatnot thank you guys so much for watching like and subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace out guys